Hey guys, my name is Kitten Bagels and I'm going to show you today how to recreate this look I just did. Kind of a natural kawaii style glam. Um, basically, I'm going to go through all the steps in this video, so I hope you guys enjoy. So the best makeup starts with a good base and to start, of course, I'm going to just clip my bangs out of my face so I can actually see what I'm working with here. And then I'm going to start with a moist towelette. This just has water on it, nothing else. And I basically just damp, dampen my face before my moisturizer. After that, I go in with my CeraVe moisturizing cream. Just put a little bit on your... Oh, that's a little bit. But we're just going to rub this into the face. Have a base. So first, I like to go in with my number 7 foundation. This is shade Hazelnut, I believe. I've been using this for a few months now. So all I'm going to do is just make some shapes here. It doesn't have to be any specific. Just enough to get it all over the face, over the forehead. After that, I'm going to take just a fluffier brush and just help blend everything in a more natural way. Just in case my brush left anything sh too streaky. But don't forget to put some foundation on that five finger forehead. <gasps> no, I got on my clip. Now that foundation is done, I'm now going to go in with a little bit of concealer. So my concealer method is actually just putting a little bit of concealer and mixing it with foundation. And I feel like that helps me get a good coverage. And my cat <laughs> appeared. Honestly, the labels of my concealer have like faded. I've had this for too long. But I'm going to put the description. I'm going to put the link of this in the description for everything I use if I can find it. A lot of things I've bought and they're like limited edition. So if it's not available, I'm so sorry. But I take a little bit concealer. And then take a little bit of foundation on the finger. And do a couple dots up. The mixture of the foundation with the concealer gives a more natural finish rather than too cakey or too sheer. I find that just foundation alone on my under eye or just concealer is either too cakey or it's too sheer and I end up separating half throughout the day and that's not pretty. So just blending it like so on each eye. And then of course you kind of just want to bring this here and go on your eyelid. Just a simple soup like that just helps keep everything the same tone. Just a little hack. And now I'm going to just blend everything together because right now I look like a blotchy mess. But after the blending, we'll see. So let's blend this eye first. And then you can see the clear difference between blended and unblended. So let's blend them both. So now that I have my concealer and my foundation on my face, it's time to set the under eye and eyelids and problematic kind of oily areas with some setting powder. I'm using the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. This is one of the best powders I've used. Like... I can just see the difference. I don't know if you guys can, but this powder keeps my under eye in place. No separating. I'm so serious. For $3.29 at Walgreens, this is probably the best powder I've used in my life. So let's just set everything. I like to pay extra attention to my under eyes just to make sure they're properly set. I really hate having that separation throughout the day. I don't know if anyone else goes through that, but like my under eye creases will just sometimes, if I don't wear enough powder or if I don't put enough setting spray, they will split on me. They will split 
Okay. And now I'm going to take a small angled concealer brush. And I'm basically going to get a tiny bit of concealer on it. And just kind of go on my lash line here. I personally think this adds to like kind of the dolly eye look. It's If you never tried putting concealer a little bit on your lash line, try it. Ever since I switched from kind of just doing a pencil to doing the concealer, I've noticed I've loved my makeup so much more. So let's just do it. And there's kind of a difference in the eye shape now. This kind of has a more kind of rounded, I guess. It kind of accentuates my features more. And I feel like if you have almond eyes like mine, you might want to try it. So let's do the other eye. And just like that, we have our base. So I'm going to set everything with my Pixie Skin Treats. Whew. Just let her dry. So now it's time for eyebrows. My eyebrow method is kind of weird. I'll be honest, guys. I go in with my number seven holiday edition palette. I will have this linked, but I don't even know if you can get it anymore. This came out like last Christmas. I'm sure you can do it with any palette though, as long as you have the colors that match. But I'm gonna show you the method. So first, you go in with an angled brush like this, or not really angled, but you kind of get the darkest shade here that you would use for your eyebrows. And then you kind of want to layer. So layer with a lighter shade and then a shade that's in between here. These three shades are perfect. And then I just go in with my eyebrow here. I feel like this subtly fills in my eyebrow without making it too dark or too light, which I love. And then just at the end where it's a little bit of hair is missing. I can just fill it in and shape it properly with the lighter color. It can fill in the part where the hair meets the skin more and that kind of creates a more natural brow look now it's time to shape the brows so my preferred method when it comes to soft cute kawaii makeup is straight brows that's kind of how i shaved my brows anyways so to do that you kind of need to lock in let's be honest lock the fuck in so first i draw a kind of a reference line in the middle just so I can make everything even. And then you kind of just want to conceal the brow so it goes straight. So you kind of don't want to do the angle. You kind of just want to draw a straight line. A little bit of arc is okay, but if you're going for a straight brow, you want to just do a straight line. For the bottom portion, we're going to do the same thing keeping that straight line with a slight little arch. Just make sure you keep a relaxed brow. Don't even fret. A little touch up at the top. Now we're just gonna connect everything together. Kind of blend this reference line out back to the eyebrows and then we're gonna take a small bending brush like this and just blend outwards so now that the eyebrows are blended i'm gonna go in and just take a little bit i put a tiny little bit of foundation and just blend that over the brow to kind of just even out the rest of my face. Now we set everything one more time. You guys may be like, why is this crazy lady telling me to set my foundation three times with setting spray? Listen, if you want your makeup to stay, if you want your makeup to be dewy, do it. Now I'm gonna go with my blush. I am gonna be using two blushes that are very buildable. I'm using the number seven powder blusher in cranberry. 
and i'm also using the covergirl classic color which has a little mirror basically i start by taking a little bit of the color co cover girl which is the lighter shade oh where's my cat doing he's so cute and i put it on my nose my cheek and the bridge of my nose as well And then after that, I take a little bit of the number 7 powder blush. It's a darker and deeper shade than the blush I originally just used. I take a teensy teensy bit on my finger. That's not a teensy bit. <laughs> and then just do some dots. I love my dots. And then just blend that back with the same brush. And a little bit of my finger. But this creates kind of that cute kind of, I guess, almost like doll-like blush that I love and now that the blush is done it's time to move into the eyes for the eyeliner I'll be using the elf if it'll focus it's worn out but this is the elf liquid pen eyeliner pen <laughs> I first start by coming here and just making a little kind of anchor point for the eyeliner that's a bit wobbly, so then we just go down. And although it's wobbly, we can fix it up by just dragging it. That's the best thing about mistakes is that you can fix them. Until we kind of get an eyeliner that's not too angled up and not too downturned. I'm going to take a little bit of concealer just to fix that kind of dent there and just fix those little mistakes because that's really how easy it is to fix your problems if only everything could be fixed like this anyways now i'm gonna go back to that number seven palette i'm gonna take this sparkly shimmery shade right here in the middle you can do this with any shimmery gold translucent white kind of glittery powder or eyeshadow but that's the one i'm using and just come here in the corner of your eye and you want to add that little glitter because this is what's going to help your eyes pop like a doll okay now that the eyeliner and glittery part is done i'm going to curl my lashes just so my mascara has a pretty nice curve to sit on clump and drag up so for mascara i will be using the covergirl eye enhancer this is hands down one of the best mascaras i've used and i've used a lot okay so first you want to just apply mascara like usual and then as you're applying start connecting the lashes together this is optional completely but i believe this gives a very cutesy kind of it makes the eyes pop more when the mascara is spiky and they end up looking like a little doll see the difference in this eye compared to this eye now i'm gonna just replicate what i did on this eye on this eye but in like four times speed sit back and watch slow down the speed if you want to because here we go <laughs> Now that the eyes are done, it's time for the last step and that's lip 
my lips have nothing on them they're a bit dry right now so i'll actually be using three products for my lip first i will be using my number seven blush again and i'll be using two Burt's Beats glosses i kind of bought these two to mix it in and create that kind of desired pinky yet not too bright color on my lip so i'm using two shade smooch and blush i'm gonna just clean off any dead skin and makeup remaining on my lip and I'm gonna go with a different brush from what I use on the face because that's just <laughs> it's a little sanitary. And I'm gonna go in the middle here to create that ombre lip look. The key is really using a blush in my opinion because with that you can layer it. And now for the glosses, so first I start with the darker shade which is Smooch. I take a little bit and just go in the middle mainly to kind of enhance that ombre look. I look a little crazy, look at how blood on my lips. But now the color that ties it all together is the blush color which I just put on like normal lip gloss. And of course, I can't forget about the finishing touches, which is a little bit of highlighter from that same shimmery color we used. Just on the nose. These are just finishing touches that you kind of apply after setting spray. They kind of just help bring the look together. And since the setting spray also acts like a primer, you really don't have to worry about putting another coat of setting spray or layer since you already have so much on <laughs> so this is the final look i'm gonna put some more videos of me showcasing the look through my phone camera but if you guys did like this video just comment or sh you know slash that like button <laughs> or subscribe anything helps um i hope you guys had an opportunity to learn something from my video today and if not i hope you giggled a little bit even if it's at my stinky cat right there but with all due, I hope to see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Bye!